Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen, Indiana Jones 5, well the rumours were right, so the endings were changed, uh, James Mangold confirms, but there's even more than this, so we're going to dive into this as well as something else, which is Short Round was going to originally be in this at some point as well, yeah that's right, there was concept art which revealed uh, a scrapped indie and Short Round team up, why did you scrap this, you utter plebs, I mean I understand why they scrapped it, because Kathleen Kennedy has a self-insert agenda and wanted to put Phoebe Waller-Bridge in there as herself, essentially. But this, this would have been amazing! You're telling me people wouldn't have been up in rapturous applause for Ki Kwan and Harrison Ford, you know, short round Indiana Jones, battling out the zombies? I don't even care that they're zombies. I'll be down for this. This would be amazing. So let's take a look at this first, right? So James Mangold obviously announces the director for Indiana Jones. We knew that. Um, and then no one liked it. It's a huge bomb. $384 million worldwide. That's that's appalling. Like, actually appalling. Uh, and now he's done. So he's never coming back. So that's dumb as well. Uh, but Short Round and Indiana Jones were... They, they were going to fight. They, they were going to be in a movie. Why didn't you make this? So this is some concept art that's been revealed. And bearing in mind, just as an FYI, Ki Huan was well up for coming back as Short Round. He said, I'm there, man. I love that character so much and it would just be incredible to revisit so many years later. Why did you not do this? So this is the concept art, just as an FYI. This was shared. Indian Short Round in action. It would have been so cool to see. Um, so this is concept art, right? <clears throat> Why did you not do this? You utter dipshits. So this is concept art from this movie. Or a version of it. We don't know when it was. We don't know what it was. But this was an iteration of the movie. We don't know when this was scrapped. We don't know anything about it. But we know it's concept art. And this would have been epic. This would have been super cool. I'd have been down for this. I think everyone would have been down for this, actually, quite frankly. Why did no one do... Why? Did, why? Why? Why did they not do this? Seriously? So this is from uh, Savvy Draws, Savvy Draws. Sorry, let me just move it here. So, Sabi draws concept artist at ILM, which Disney owned. So, yeah, concept art. Anyway, super dumb. They should have done it, but they didn't. And apparently there was loads of endings, which... Okay, let's have a look at this then, shall we? So, there was rumoured test screenings, which had loads of different uh, endings for the audience, basically. And loads of people hated them. So... Uh, the endings are said to have included Phoebe Waller-Bridge replacing Harrison Ford at the request of Kathleen Kennedy. And the worst ending is said to have taken place in the 30s. A young Indiana Jones sacrifices himself to save Helena. And then old Indiana Jones fades away. All of this is incredibly dumb by comparison to having Short Round and Harrison Ford beating up zombies. I'd have been there for that. What the ever-loving fuck were you thinking? Anyway, Helena picks up the whip, dons the fedora, and becomes the new Indiana Jones, and the classic John Williams music score hits. That was one of the ending. The League also said that a significant portion of the film took place in the 30s. That was all denied, by the way. So, James Mangold, uh, he doesn't confirm Phoebe Waller-Bridge was going to replace Harrison Ford, but he does confirm multiple endings and scripts. When I came on to the movie, they had already been playing with a bunch of different things, which were basically just reduxes of what had happened in the first movie. Just more apparitions and ghosts. And I felt like I was just watching the first movie over again when I envisioned what was in the existing scripts. And I felt like what Steven Spielberg and uh, George Lucas and Larry Kasdan and David Cope as well had done successfully in the other films was to keep kind of pulling up a rock on a different aspect of history and metaphysics and not going back to the same thing. In a way, I didn't want to do the kind of, is it a Death Star again? You literally did that. So, we well, didn't literally, but you get my point. Uh, anyway, so Mangold also reveals that Indiana Jones 5 originally mostly took place in the 30s. So that confirms what the leak said. 
Uh, the movie is exploring the themes of time, past and present. That became my central idea, which is why the movie opens in the past and in other iterations went back there at the end. When we did start writing, it was my theory that at first that we would end up back in Nazi Germany in 1938. So Mangold also confirms an ending had the older Indiana Jones returning to the time of the younger Indiana Jones in the 30s from the start of the movie again, just as the leak said. As we got there, it started occurring to me that A, that's what the audience is going to be anticipating and therefore not very surprising to them. But you do have to, you can't subvert all expectations, you have to give the audience something. Uh, and we'd be plunged just back into the opening of the film, only with a 79-year-old Indy running around. I felt we needed something more shocking, something bolder, and something that also affected Indy. If we had to go back to Nazi Germany, we would simply be a hero trying to stop Vola from doing his plan. If he ended up where he does end up in the film, he is going to be facing bigger questions about his own life and what he studied all his life. And I thought that was going to be more interesting. And also, usually bolder is better if you can do it piss off basically <sighs> piss off why did we not get short round and Indiana Jones look at this would you have wanted key uh, who Quan drop kicking a zombie yes why did we not have this why did we have to get Kathleen Kennedy's self-insert loathsome creature of an actor being a total tit and very unlikable? Why do we have to have that by comparison to this? Really? Come on, man. This would have been epic. Honestly, this would have been epic. I would have loved this. And you know what? I can say with the utmost certainty that I speak for the majority of people. You all would have loved this, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. Of course you would. Why would you not? This is super cool. But they fudged it. We have to get multiple endings, multiple lies. No, we didn't go back for reshoots. What are you talking about? No, we didn't change it. Yes, you did. James Mangold. A good director, actually, believe it or not. Don't judge him by Indiana Jones, because he's actually a very good director and has done very, very good things uh, when he's not in the confines of Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy's bizarre grip so you you fucked us you, you, you done screwed everyone this would have been cool so lame why do we not have this i would have loved this you'd have loved it what do you guys think let me know down below cheers guys take care bye, -bye now